pagban toile enema les mufiala ple nous sont là où pour nous wawo ma si ou le nous les sigbema le peuple a peu vevo a toi pe leti evelia pe un keke blave vo adelia di le hongaria Because the higher the level, the higher IQ. So among us, we have geniuses IQ. Huh? Because uh, like 150 or something, 140 is a genius IQ. We have lots of them. But the appearance sometimes cheat. Huh? Some people look stupid, but they're not. <laughs> Some people look smart, they're not. One time we were talking about IQ. The other day I was in a restaurant and we were talking about I don't often go to a restaurant, just there to rescue these two people. Anyway, we were talking about IQ. Because I have some people who were with me and one guy looked real stupid. Have ever you watched the film of Charlie Chaplin of the earlier day? He looked like that. <laughs> he walked with the feet, you know, kicking around and like that, okay? He looked real stupid and he doesn't speak very good English. And the other guy, you know, Vietnamese and born in America, and real American, you know? <laughs> so he always kind of looked down upon the other guy, you know? But the other guy are more smart. Are smarter, ne? So we, I went to a restaurant there and talk, talk, and we were talking about IQ, you know, and and his, the the guy said, "Oh, that guy look real smart. This guy look not." I say, "Appearance always deceive, you know, because uh, I have the two guys there. One is about 145, and the other is only 140. But the 145 looks more stupid." You know, and the 140 look more smart. I'm just saying, you know, just talking, conversation, nonsense. And then the other guy said, what? 145, 50, or 100? I say another 150 as well. I said, that's a genius. This is the IQ of the genius. Because our group, they are genius. That's why, that's why I think, you know, it's true like that. I'm not telling lies. I'm not even exaggerate. Is it really, really like that? I say, yeah, it's like that. Because the more uh, spiritually elevated you are, the higher IQ you get. It goes with it, no? It goes with it, yeah. So ever you wonder why Einstein so smart? He was vegetarian, and why? He must have practiced something, eh? Otherwise, why, what the such a guy being vegetarian, for what? Huh? At that time, even where nobody know even what vegetarian is. I remember a long time ago, about maybe 30 years ago or something, when I went to... At that time, I didn't have a master or a method, anything, yet I was all forever searching. Eh? So everybody say, go bow to the Buddha and you will be enlightened. So I went to bow Buddha. And in Germany, not enough Buddha, so I go to Thailand, where a lot of Buddhas. <laughs> 
from one temple to another, bowing to different Buddhas, they get more enlightened, you know? I was thinking like that. At that time, I would go to any restaurant and nothing say vegetarian in there. Anyway, they don't even know what it is. So anyway, nobody, that's your Buddha, huh? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your Buddha that you want to, to, to linger with. I'm telling the truth or not? Tell me. Huh? Yes. Yes, good. So when I say I'm Buddhist, at that time I was Buddhist. I don't say I go to anywhere and I say I'm Buddhist. I need a vegetarian meal. And I thought because they're full of Buddhas everywhere and living Buddha running all over the place. And uh, statues of Buddha everywhere, golden temple, golden Buddha, you know, the whole country is uh, Buddhist. So I thought they would understand. So naive I was. Can you believe it? Yeah, and so I went anywhere and asked for, I say I'm Buddhist, I'm proud of it, you know. <laughs> uh, here come your comrade, huh? Give me some meal, eh, Buddhist, no? <laughs> and they just give me all kind of chicken and pork and all that. I said, no, 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 no. I'm real Buddhist, I don't eat this. I don't eat this. No meat, I don't eat meat, okay? Let's go, take the bowl inside, take the meat out, give me what? <laughs> no meat. But they left the fat swimming on top of it. And they said, what is it? It's not meat, it's fat. Pork fat, good for you. <laughs> oh, right. So I said, no, no, I don't eat pork. Please, no. Whatever English they can speak. Pork good for you, fine. No, no, I don't eat pork. Fine. They go inside, bring chicken outside. Chicken legs. No, I don't eat that. What's that? <laughs> oh, so I cannot argue. We've broken English all over. So I have to go somewhere else, somewhere else, and I just eat whatever, like toast and butter, or don't even have butter, so just eat toast. Language problem, also. Anyway. And then one day happened, I go into a good, a good uh, uh, hotel and I explain that I'm vegetarian, I don't eat meat, okay, I don't eat the chicken, I don't eat the pork. I list the whole, otherwise if you say you don't eat chicken alone, they bring the pork. If you say you don't eat pork, they bring the beef or whatever, you know. So I say I don't eat this, beef, no, chicken, no, pork, no, <laughs> big fish, no, small fish, no, <laughs> crab, no. <laughs> No, what is that? I said shrimp. No shrimp, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have to write it. Whatever they add, whatever they add it, I have to, you know, uh, uh, write it on my list again. No, that's not also, not, not. So finally, okay, okay, I understand. And then he came out and just uh, take some, uh, you know, cabbage and put it in uh, oil. No, not even oil, just uh, water. Yeah, because what are you? The oil I might not eat. <laughs> and bring it to me. White rice, white cabbage, white salt. There you are. <laughs> Voila. Happy? <laughs> we take care of our customer. <laughs> Come back again. <laughs> so even in those times, yeah? It's not long ago even, not long before I give initiation, no? They don't know what vegetarian is. Yeah? Why why we talk about that? <laughs> I went too far. I kill you. Yeah, I know that. Einstein, okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, Einstein. Yeah, because even just not long ago, they still don't know vegetarian what for. So the Einstein time must be more remote, you understand? So the only reason he eats vegetarian, it must have been that he's in touch with some yogi, yeah? Practice some spiritual uh, meditation, and therefore his IQ come up. Because at that time, such things are very remote. Nobody know what yoga is, nobody meditate, nobody vegetarian. So he's uh, one of the very few. Of course his IQ is high, eh? If I uh, throw you back in those era now, you are all Einstein. <laughs> yeah, because you'd be too smart, you know, for that time, yeah? 
and you still smart now for this time. It's just you're not smart enough for me. That's the only problem. <laughs> so, of course, here you are not smart, nah? but outside people worship you. Uh, not worship, but respect you and know that you are special and they know that you are good, good and smart, right? I'm not right? Outside people respect you, right? I mean, uh, one or two rotten is different because your enemy from the last life. But the most people, they really respect and love you wherever you go. Is that not so? Yes. Yeah. See? Yeah, I told you, you are Einstein. You know, <laughs> big Einstein, small Einstein, mini Einstein. <laughs> because your IQ has gone up together with your spiritual practice. The, the spiritual level open up all the channels, yeah? Clean all the clock of in, inside your artery or even physical veins. Or, so it makes the blood even flow better and uh, the information go better. Everything's clear. The higher you go, the clearer the channel. So you get more uh, information, more correct instruction from the brain even. Otherwise, mostly the brain even also smart, tell you what to do, but your hand clumsy. The clock over here, so only a little bit info seep through, so you do only half good. Yeah? The spiritual blockage also uh, influence physical uh, clearance. Yeah, therefore, if uh, people don't practice spiritual, they become less intelligent. Even if they were intelligent and they were younger, they grow up if they ruin themselves with meat, alcohol, or whatever, or, or this uh, damaging environment, then they become less smart. So it's not like we practice spiritual just to go to heaven. In this, on this planet, we already can make use of it. Yeah, we can help others because we're smarter. We become leader, you know? Uh, anybody don't know what to do, we come along and say, ah, that's easy, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then in two minutes or something, you offer the solution already. And they were thinking, oh, God, how you look so young, why are you so smart? Does it happen to you? Yes. yes, I know that. Yeah, more or less. If you have the situation, then you know you're smart. Because mostly you don't know it also. You practice and you grow slowly. And because you were stupid before, you still think you might be still stupid. Huh? You don't think. But when the situation comes to test, ah, then you know, hey, I have grown up a little IQ. Yeah, just it's okay if you're not tested, yeah? But the more you're tested in different situations, the more you realize that you are really smart now. Yeah, you're really smart. Not like uh, crafty smart, but truly intelligent. And then you feel proud, huh? You know that spiritual practice really works. Even your family member, your co-worker, they'd be wonder, you know, they say, what happened to her, what happened to you? Something changed. What did you do, you know? Something like that, no? Yes. yes, yes. But if you are not in such an environment where you can test or where people can see you or feel you differences because they have been with you before, then they know the difference. But if you work alone or you're alone, then of course nobody know, notice and then you also don't think about it. Eh? But if you happen to rub shoulder with other people, then you know you are really different because they also know you're different. They don't know how, why, but they do know your difference, that you have grown something, and you have something now that they don't understand and they don't have. Yeah. So even though you are small potatoes here, <laughs> but I know you are something outside. <laughs> don't think I don't know that. Yeah. I do respect that. I do respect your accomplishment. But I don't want you to stop there. You come here every time, I push you, I kick you, I pull you, <laughs> I rub you, make you better. And then when you go back home next time, ah, different. Yeah? Okay? Do not think uh, small of yourself even if I reprimand you. It's just a process that you're going through, eh? You are allowed to make mistakes. Of course, you are disciples. Eh? Uh, otherwise, you would have been a master, no? Okay, we allow that, eh? 
And uh, whoever the one yesterday want to tell the parents about the practice? Yeah, you can tell them. You say, hey, I learned some meditation and I eat vegetarian because I don't feel like eating meat anymore. That's it. It's nothing, no problem. And you say you have a teacher, so what? No big deal, you know? Yeah, meditation teacher. Honestly, I feel we have health all the time, so anyway, even if I die with my secret, it's okay. You want to keep the secret? You mean? It's okay, it's okay. You don't want to tell them? I don't, I don't mind either. Uh, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Just because you say you feel uncomfortable with the secret. Yeah. But it's, it, it is uncomfortable. Anyway, it is a pressure to keep the secret, eh? I know. To live like a life that somebody else don't know, eh? I know that. I know what it is like. I truly know. Because everywhere I go, I have to let people think that I'm just a normal person and go on holidays, things like that, you know? Yeah, that's what they presume, but they still smell. This is something, something. You're not just that, something you don't tell. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it feels a little burden sometimes, eh? because I cannot invite anybody to my house. And even if I invite anybody, I took all the picture and all the magazine, whatever I'm working on, oh, in the closet. <laughs> Is it like a normal person with the Romeo and Juliet statue, <laughs> videotaped, uh, you know, <laughs> TV is on, <laughs> dogs barking. <laughs> yeah, I buy all those uh, painting outside and, and, and just uh, put it on the wall. So I didn't buy any picture, painting, or normal, good furniture, you know. So everybody come and then I just, if supposed, I have to invite somebody for some reason, really. Just once <laughs> or twice and never again. <laughs> something like that, you know? <laughs>